The day we're taking a look at these MLB matches, which are happening on Monday, July 25, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 360 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Going back to our video we will give you two betting picks for each game, a team pick and a total pick based on facts and detailed explanation. So make sure to watch our videos till the end so you don't miss any of our picks. Miami Marlins vs Cincinnati Reds. Our team pick is, Reds, minus 1.5, runs. And here is why. With the second half of the season now underway, the Marlins know that they need to start grabbing wins quickly if they want to make a run at the top of the division or at least toward the wild card. Sitting in fourth place and playing in the NL East is far from ideal, but with a number of games coming up against the Reds, it could mean some wins to get confidence and momentum going in the right direction. Miami is only 4-6 in their last 10 games, and with a losing record away from home, it might not easy as it appears, even against one of baseball's worst teams. After winning their weekend series against Pittsburgh though, things might be trending in the right direction for this group. The Reds were one of baseball's worst teams to start the season, and while it would take a miracle for them to find the postseason, they could certainly spoil other teams' runs. Over the last 10 games, they've gone 6-4, and even with a losing record at home, they might have just the right amount of momentum and confidence to slowly turn things around. Last season, they dominated the season series against the Marlins and are hoping that they can make that the case on Monday. It helps that they could be catching the Marlins at the right time as well, as the injury bug continues to work its way through their opponent. The Marlins are coming off wins in two of their last three games, but with the injuries mounting, especially when it comes to the lineup, it could be a struggle. Beyond that, staying on the road is bound to take its toll on his team, and with the Reds playing their best baseball of the last few seasons, it seems the perfect time for them to grab the win. Additionally, according to Covers.com, the Reds are 11-3 in the last 14 meetings against the Marlins overall, and are 36-16 in the last 52 meetings in Cincinnati. Our total pick is over the total and here is why. The Marlins and Reds enter this matchup middle of the pack in terms of run production. Miami plates 4.03 runs per game, while the Reds are not far above with 4.32. Since he holds the highest staff ERA and serves up the second most home runs in the majors. Lodolo will almost surely give Miami numerous chances to drive up a big early number. Rogers has pitched a lot better than his inflated 5.46 ERA indicates, but he has been prone to blowups as well. I expect the Marlins to win this game, but the Reds will make things interesting with some runs on their side. This game looks like a back and forth contest with both pitchers having issues with their respective lineups. The total number has gone over in five straight games for the Reds. Atlanta Braves vs Philadelphia Phillies. Our team pick is Atlanta Braves for the win. And here is why. The first road trip in the post All-Star break for the Braves will be Citizens Bank Park against a Phillies team that's ranked third in the NL East division. This series gives the defending champions an opportunity to put some distance between themselves and the Phillies, along with potentially overtaking the New York Mets as the number one team in the division. This Phillies team is no offensive cakewalk, but you wouldn't know that if you saw the way they got hammered by the Chicago Cubs over the weekend. If those struggles persist in the opener, the Braves might not even break a sweat in this divisional battle. But if things get tight, they could have a legitimate fight on their hands. Granted, the Phillies had a valiant effort in hopes of preventing a three-game sweep on Sunday, but it was also a failing effort. They gave up a surprising 25 total runs in the series they played against the Cubs. That's a big problem with the hard-hitting Braves coming to town for a visit. Atlanta is the number one ranked slugging team in the league, with a home run average second only to the New York Yankees. It could be a deja vu outing for the Phillies if they can't pull it together in time for their run-in with the Braves. Bad things have happened this season whenever Ranger Suarez is staring down the Braves' batting lineup. He's faced them twice this year and left with a loss in both outings. In 11 total innings, he's given up 12 hits and 9 runs, including 2 homers and 6 walks. This has been a nightmare matchup for Suarez. It doesn't help matters that the Phillies just got swept in all three games of their series against the Chicago Cubs. They allowed 4-plus runs each game and 25 runs in total. The Braves must be salivating to get to cracking against this Phillies defense that looked hungover in the aftermath of the All-Star break. 
Max Fried starting on the mound for Atlanta means it'll be a quiet batting evening for the Phillies. So they won't have the runs to match the Braves when they unleash on Suarez. I'm taking Atlanta in the opener. Our total pick is over 8. And here is why. The Braves are averaging 4.80 runs per game and 4.67 runs per game on the road. They averaged 4.33 runs per game in their last three games against the Phillies. With Philadelphia giving up 4.13 runs per game, the Braves will hit their average in this game. The Phillies are averaging 4.63 runs per game and 4.55 runs per game at home. They averaged 6 runs per game in their last 3 games against the Braves. Even though Atlanta is giving up 3.81 runs per game on the road, the Phillies will score enough runs to push the score over the total. The Braves and Phillies played over the total in 5 of their last 7 meetings. Tampa Bay Rays vs Baltimore Orioles. Our team pick is. Tampa Bay for the win. And here is why. The chess pieces are all on the move behind the front-running New York Yankees in the AL East. With the Blue Jays having won six straight games, the Rays now find themselves in third place after losing two straight games to the Royals over the weekend. After taking the opener 7-3 on Friday night, the Rays dropped a 6-3 decision on Saturday and then dropped the finale, 4-2, on Sunday afternoon. It was the first time in five seasons that the Rays have lost a series to Kansas City. Trailing 2-0, the Rays rallied back to tie the game at 2 before the bullpen coughed up the lead in the late innings. They now find themselves a half game behind the streaking Jays for second place in the AL East. It has been years since the Orioles have been relevant in the AL East division, but it appears that the Orioles are once again a viable threat in the division. The Orioles won 10 straight games before the All-Star break and now sit just one game below .500 for the season and a half game behind Boston for fourth place in the AL East. More importantly, the Birds are just three and a half games out of a wildcard spot. On Sunday, the Orioles lost 6-0 to the Yankees as they dropped two out of three to the Bombers over the weekend. Baltimore is now just 2-4 since its 10-game winning streak. Tampa Bay is 7-5 against the Orioles this season and has won three out of their last five versus the Birds. In addition, the Rays are 23-17 versus the AL East this season, while the Orioles are just 17-22 versus the AL East. The Rays are also well ahead of the Orioles in the area of run differential this season. Tampa Bay is plus 28 in run differential this season, while the Orioles are minus 18. Corey Kluber also has a distinct advantage in this pitching matchup and should have the Rays in great shape going into the late middle innings when he can hand the game off to the Rays' excellent bullpen. Voth has gone just five innings once this season, so the Orioles' bullpen will be far more taxed in this game. Our total pick is over 9. And here is why. Corey Kluber has a 4.09 ERA on the road this season, while Austin Both has a 5.48 ERA at home this season, so both pitchers have been struggling a bit. Looking at the month of July thus far, both teams have been scoring runs at a great rate, as Tampa Bay is averaging 5.21 runs per game in their 19 July games, while Baltimore is scoring 4.94 runs per game in their 17 games in the month of July.